Hi Sheiksters, hope you guys are having an amazing week. Today's video, as the title says, is going to be a requested one. It's going to be a mini haul, mini try on haul for the Atlantic Pacific X Halogen, aka Nordstrom collaboration. So I asked you guys on Instagram whether or not you were going to be shopping the collection and what you would like for me to share. And overwhelmingly, everyone voted for a try on haul. This is the first time you're hearing my voice, or perhaps you're not subscribed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. All right, before we get started, I did want to mention that for your reference, my exact measurements are in the description bar below. So the first item is going to be the Atlantic Pacific X Halogen Satin Camisole. I got this item in a size extra, extra large which according to the size is a size 18 to 20. I am usually a 16 to 18 up top. So you guys can see, check my measurements for reference. As far as quality of this garment, I would give it a nine out of 10. Um, it comes in three colorways. So a, a um, cream slash blush color, a black and navy color, and this green color. Love this item, definitely keeping this one. So the next item is going to be the faux leather stretch belt. This item I'm wearing in the medium slash large size, which apparently stretches up to 57 inches. The belt does feature an elasticated back and a large covered buckle. The belt also comes in a cognac color and I will say that I believe the blush version of this belt was what was part of the collection. So if you love pleats and tulle and all things girly, this was the collection for you. However, I love how Blair was able to modernize those sensibilities with minute touches like color blocking. So this item is going to be the pleated midi skirt from the collection. I got this item in a size 1X, which is also a 16W slash 18. Love how soft and feminine and how well the fabric on this skirt draped. Loved the colors on it. Super versatile because it can go from a day to night and even work to weekend in a flash. Definitely a must have from this collection. So this next item is not for everyone, but it's definitely a personal favorite and something I consider a hidden gem from this collection and it's the lace trim half slip. Now this item is intended to be worn as undergarment. However, that is not how I plan to style it. I love the fact that it's not black, it's navy. It has a little bit of lace, it has a little bit of sex appeal to it. Um, I'm wearing it in an XXXL, which is a 18 slash 16 W. I plan on pairing it with boots, sweaters, as well as as it is intended underneath my garments. Definitely a must have for me. The next item is going to be the plaid wide leg cropped pants from the collection. Here I'm wearing it in a size 18 and I would say for my hippie girls that it's pretty true to size. Men's wear has been huge for the last couple of seasons and this year it's all about that plaid. Um, one thing to note about this plaid is that it actually has rust colored stripes going through it. My only issue, honestly, with this pant is in the design. I'm not a huge fan of the oversized cuffs. Aside from that, I can totally see it dressed up from day to night. Pair it with a long sleeve black turtleneck. Throw on a biker jacket. Add some pumps and you have a great after hours look. By the way, it also comes in navy. So the collection came with about five pairs of shoes. I decided to pick up the Georgina Bow Pump. 
personally I needed a new pair of black pumps and I just loved the playful twist slash the added detail of the bow it also comes in tweed I'm wearing it here in a size 12 I would definitely say if you have wide feet to at least size up a half size because it is a little bit narrow around the toe box it is a four inch heel and the black version is made out of real suede so here is one of the pieces it's in that signature print from the collection i picked up i think everything in the xxl um it also comes in plus i'll say this fits me perfectly everywhere except for so I realized after the fact that I did not pick up any jacket or blazer from the collection to include in the try-on, but I did want to share my top two picks. This gorgeous navy blazer is a great alternative to black. Everything from the collection that I've seen is really high quality, and I'm just obsessed with the fact that it is an inclusive collection, and they did create pieces that work for us plus girls. The next jacket that I'm completely obsessed with is this green teddy coat oh my god I did not see it originally I saw the rust color which I was not interested in at all rust slash cognac color but then when I went back I saw it in green and this green would go with so many things and just like the navy it's a great alternative to black Links to everything in this video will be in the description bar down below. So, my overall thoughts from the collection is that it, it's a great collection. There were no issues with quality. My only issue really with this collection is in the price point. Um, I gave this collection an overall a B minus, and if you want to find out more on why I gave it a B minus, you can definitely click the link down below because I did a whole blog post on this collection in the two other collections that came out in the last week or so, be that being the Jason Wu for Eloquie collection and the Laquan Smith for ASOS collection. Overall. Personally, I think this was the best one out of the bunch. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,